Hello and welcome to the second part of the Gundam F90 review. Now in this part I will be finishing up and saying if I like this Gundam or not, my final thoughts on it. And I will be showing you the accessories. So let's get this started. Um, first of all, I'll be prop and for so first I'll be showing you the accessories that come with it, and then I'll f after that I'll show you the final accessories. So first thing you'll want to do to get these accessories on is take the backpack off. I'll just place it down there. Mm -hmm. Wait, there you can see it now. And I'm gonna take this accessory that comes with it. You see there's two holes. Do like you would with any regular backpack. Just peg it in. And this turns into the plain mode of this Gundam. So to turn it into that mode, you'll want to take his head off. Put that up. And then you're starting to get the head it looks like. Uh, so you have the plain head. And next you'll want to take the two wings that come with it and you see there's two little holes on the chest uh yeah and what you'll do take the peg here and just put it in like so and there you have your plane now let me just check one thing if I'm forgetting oh yes I am forgetting it sorry um, you, that's not the full plane. I f keep forgetting about these one pieces in this plane because they don't really do anything. It's this, it's the, um, shoulder armor that are guns against enemies. So when it's flying, it kind of looks like it's shooting at you. Pew, pew, like that. Um, let me just take all of these accessories off. So that shows how many accessories I have to date. One, two, three, four, uh, five accessories right now. And this guy only comes with armor for, say, accessories, not weapons, not weapon accessories. Um, uh, now I'll show you some, another one of his accessories. Well, in a bundle, you could say. And here we are. So, first thing is you get an ant. Uh, an antenna backpack. S same thing for all the backpacks. Pig it in. And you get these kind of feather shoulder pieces. Which are nice. And just pig them in to the shoulders. Like so. So you get that. And... I'll show you the one weapon that this guy d gets. He gets a shooting gun. Now, this guy does come with a shield, but I've misplaced that shield, and it looks like... I'm pretty sure it's with my other Gundam boxes. Now, so, what you want to do, do the trigger there, and all you have to do, and it pull it back. If you heard that clicking sound, it means it shot. And that's... A few more accessories, and I think I have one more, uh, one more accessory, and then I'll just quickly show you this. So here's the accessory, and this one's broken. Um, the yeah, this plastic was really, uh, it, it cracks easily, and it's flimsy, you could say. So it cracked there, but usually what you would do is you put a gun on here. Uh, I don't, whoa, I don't have a gun on hand, but I will show you. Uh, I'll try, here, I'll go get, wait, I can't get one, but a gun would go there. Now, I'll show you my favorite mode for this guy. And I have one more accessory that I didn't show you, and I didn't show you it because it's my favorite, it goes with my favorite mode. So first things first, I'll quickly show you my favorite accessory, there it is. It is a gun, slash wings, slash booster, and 
oh, I love it. It's I'm going to paint this and panel line it soon. And uh, if I didn't tell you before, and if you didn't see part one, or if I didn't mention it in part one, this is the unpainted version. Now, first thing first, to get that on, what you'll have to do, take the backpack that I showed you in part one, peg it in. After that, you'll want to take the wing gun thing, peg it into there, and there you have it. That's how it looks on him. And qu I'll quickly just build my favorite uh, thing that you can do with this guy. Uh, wait, no, wrong pieces. No. Uh, oh, here they are. Okay, sorry about that. I was just seeing if I could improve on him on the f my favorite mode anyway. But no, it doesn't seem like I can. Now, here's my favorite mode. So you have him, and it kind of he kind of resembles like he could just fly off. He's got his wings, wings up here, his gun for defense. Uh, I really like this mode, and because of all the accessories you get with this guy, um, you can just add them, uh, make modes yourself. So it's kind of like a custom kit. And so for this Gundam, if you have 450 yen or five, uh, I mean 500 yen or like five six bucks Canadian. Well, this is from Japan, so that's how much it was in the air. But you'll have to add shipping. If you have enough for this guy, I seriously recommend it. Because you can... You can... You, uh, sorry. You can... You get all of these accessories and what they... And you can attach them to the other guy. Uh, to your other SQ models. Uh, the older ones, not... I guess you could use them on the newer ones. Here, let me just quickly go get a newer one. See if it works. So, I grabbed my unicorn, uh, Gundam Unicorn SD. I always keep them on hand just in case of things like this. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, it fits. It's just a little gun, but yeah, it fits. I mean,. It looks better on. Ooh. Oh, it's in there tight. Ooh, ooh. that's a close one. Um, it fits. It just kind of looks like a puny gun on him, but yeah, sure does fit. So if you have enough money for this SD, I strongly recommend it. It's the cream of the crop, or la pièce de résistance. But I like it. I can't say uh, much more about it. So this was my review on the Gundam F90, and I'll see you next time.